Hello, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanted to show you a tour of my minimalist office, or at least I feel it's pretty minimal, and it's very organized at this point. But I wanted to show you back where we started from with this office. When we first moved in here, this was a very dark, dingy room with two odd lights in the middle of one of the walls. We quickly removed those lights and painted the room a bright white. My husband then hung a shelf over my art table so I could put art supplies on there when I'm working on a project. I decided to get some of that peel and stick wallpaper and just add some interest to one of the walls in this room. I'm trying out this decorative stick on faux wood wallpaper and so far I really like it. I think it's gonna add some interest to this room without having a whole bunch of decorations. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna look. This is gonna be the tricky part. I'm gonna have to take this shelf off, put the wallpaper over, and then re-screw it through the wallpaper. So I'm kind of nervous about that. Okay, it's 10.30 at night and I only have one little section left. One of the tricky things was taking the shelf down, wallpapering, and then putting the shelf back up and then also cutting around the plug at the bottom. But again, it wasn't that hard. Grant is hanging my mirror and he's hanging this shelf. Always gets worse before it gets better. Way worse. Way, way worse. <laughs> I feel like it's finally coming together. My next thing I'm tackling is this closet. So as soon as all this stuff is hung, now it's time to tackle this closet, get all the bathroom stuff out of there and get it organized. Fast forward to where we are right now. I finally have this office in a really great place. The only thing I still wanna add is some artwork, but I intend to do the paintings myself. So that's just gonna take a little bit of time. And when I'm decorating something, I do like to take time and feel out where I want pieces of art and just live with the negative space for a while. So that's what I'm doing right now. So let me show you how I have this office set up. When you walk in the door to the right here, I have my art table and a chair, and that chair is in case anyone comes over, like my mom. I've put this wallpaper that looks like wood and it was pretty inexpensive. I'll link it down below in my description box and it was really simple to apply. It's just a peel and stick paper. Then I have this basket so when I'm working on art projects I can put my pencils and things in here. I have a candle and I got this lamp from Home Goods, which I really love because it gives off just enough light to make it feel really cozy in here. Eventually I want to add a piece of art over here. I have the door we just came through, and this is a very large full-length mirror, which is the first full-length mirror we've had in the last six years, so it feels great to be able to see a whole outfit at one time. Then as we swing around, we have my desk, and I keep a blanket on my chair because it's winter and it's been really cool and I work mostly at night on my blog. This is where I do pretty much everything, all my editing, writing, pictures, everything. Then here is a calendar that you can erase each month. I love this because I can put the really important things on there and see them super easily. Then I have a plant and I've hung this rail here from Ikea and that is where I intend to put the artwork I'm going to paint. This desk is from Ikea. We have a cord situation that still has to be figured out. In this drawer, I just have my dry erase markers and I really like these little containers. They help everything stay organized. Here I have some color swatches for when we paint the house. We're just gonna go through those. It's on and sticky notes. 
Then I have a list and I usually have one of these on hand so when I run out I can replace the one that I keep in the kitchen. Then this is just one of those um, to-go straw, fork, and spoons that I take if I'm going somewhere. In this drawer I just have some of my journals and again this is where I keep notes on projects I'm currently working on and then as I finish them I just throw the little notes away. Here's some pens and highlighter, pencils, refill pencil stuff. Here are all my little <laughs> cards for my camera and then my batteries for my cameras and chargers. This first drawer just has some backup supplies. Three hole punch, I actually use this quite often. This ties back the curtains in here, an extra phone charger, then calculator, some staple refill, just a little office stuff. That is my printer. It's a black and white printer only and pretty large, I might go for something else eventually, but that is my desk setup. This rug I found at Costco, very inexpensive, and it helps cover the floor, which has not been redone yet, and it also helps muffle a lot of the noise. This house is a very echoey, loud house and this really helps to make it a lot more cozy and it's a light gray which keeps this room nice and light. Then I've just hung some curtains. These are not privacy curtains obviously, they're from Ikea. They do help block some of the really bright light as you can see reflecting off my car out there. The only art I have right now is this print that I bought quite a few years ago. I just love it. It's a painting of a sewing room and I will link it down below if I can find the link. It was an Etsy shop that I bought this from. As we turn here, this is a door to a very tiny bathroom that we have and if you walk through this door and out the next door, you'll be at our front door. So the nice thing about that is I have a bathroom very close <laughs> to my office. I don't have to go disturb anyone if I'm working late at night. Then I've hung this other mirror and this just helps the room to reflect more light. This is a very dark room. Eventually, I want to get some overhead lighting in here so when I'm working on art projects, I can really see what I'm doing. Here we have the closet. Eventually, I would like Grant to build some shelves from top to bottom on this side so I can really get organized, but for now, this is working. Up top, I have office supplies and all my camera stuff, my hats, and then down this side I have, I keep cards on hand, so for birthdays. Then I have a stack of books over there. Those are really the only books that I have. And then this is where I store fancier clothes, my husband's one suit he owns, and some fancier dresses. I have about three that I store in here. Then I have my file box. Below that is where we keep all of our years taxes for the last seven years. Then I just have this basket full of my art supplies so whenever I want to work on a project I can just pull it out and get to work. This top basket has my lights for when I'm working on a project and then this is the leftover contact paper that I was talking about. And on this side is where you can see some of the books that I have. And usually what I do is I keep a book until I'm done reading it and then I either give it away or donate it, usually to a friend that wants to read it. Some books I do keep on hand, for instance I have the Fly Lady book. I haven't ever finished reading that but I want to refer back to it. Then this is where I am storing my lights. <laughs> this looks crazy like a ghost but there's a light under here and then I just use this to soften the light and I wanted them to be able to be up and ready so I could pull them out at a moment's notice. And then in this bin, I have all of our family photos. This is including the boys' first year photo books that I was working on. I can link that video down below. And yeah, that is how I have set up my office closet. Up there, I'm also storing art supplies and 
tubes of paint, things like that. I really love the way this room has turned out. My goal was just to keep it light, bright, fresh feeling, and not have a lot of extra things in here because when I'm in here, I really wanna focus on my blog and my work that I'm doing or any projects that I am working on. The only thing I still wanna to add to this room, as I mentioned before, is some art that I wanna paint myself as well as some overhead lighting because as you can see, it is a little bit dark in this room. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to never miss a video. You can always find out more information on my blog, shannontorrens.com. And thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.